Howdy, howdy, folks. Once again, it is Donnie, and we're starting a brand new playlist about Linux process management. But before we answer the question about what process management is, let's see what a Linux process is. Well, anytime that you run a command, open a program, or start a system service, a new process starts. So, let's say that you open up Firefox or LibreOffice or your video player or you play a game, you do anything like that, you're starting a process. Also, a lot of processes belong to system services that run in the background. So you can have web server service or web server process, DNS server process, FTP server process, and on and on. And then you can also have other background services that are essential to the proper functioning of the operating system. And these can all be set to start when the computer boots up. Processes have lots of properties that are associated with them. Now, we'll look at those properties in detail in the next video. But for now, we only want to consider the process ID number or the PID. Now, the first process that starts when you boot up a machine is process ID number one. Yeah, you might say duh, except for the fact in computing terms, a lot of things start with zero. <laughs> but in this case, the numbering system starts with a number one. So the first process that starts when you boot the system is process ID one. So depending upon which Linux distro you're running, the name of the process is either systemd or init. This first process, whether it's systemd or init, either one works the same way. That process will be the daddy or possibly the granddaddy of every other process that runs on the system. So yes, processes can spawn other processes. So you see here from this PS3 display here from my Fedora machine. You see that up in the upper left hand corner, the process, that very, very first process is the systemd process. And you can see as the tree goes down, you see that all of those other processes, when you start a process, like for example, the modem manager up there at the top, okay, or the network manager, or Spider Oak One, uh, and so on and so forth. When you start those processes, they will be spawned off of the system D process. They will be children of that system D process. And then you see also that some of these processes have their own children processes. So for example, the network manager, you see there has a DH client process, and the spider oak one process there uh, has its own child process. Actually, spider oak one has a grandchild even, has the I notify dire uh, wait process. So yeah, there are a lot of different processes here. And we will look at all this in more in detail in the next video. But for now, I just want you to see that system D, that is the first process that gets started here in this case. On other Linux distros, it might be called the init process, but it's the same thing either way. So anyway, that pretty much covers the introduction. In the next video, we'll look at how to view the processes and their properties. So if you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.